channel if you're new here my name is Shadi Abdullaha and my channel is all about fashion luxury lifestyle motherhood and travel if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button follow me on Instagram as she is for Shade. follow me on TikTok Pinterest all the things if you're coming back to watch my videos thank you for supporting me I really appreciate it I appreciate all the girls that come back to watch all my videos love you love you love you as y'all know, I have been trying to get through this series. Um, this series is called Pregnant AF. It's basically recapping all of my months, all of my uh, weeks of pregnancy. Um, I only had two videos left, so we are on the last two videos. This is going to be a recap of my eight month of pregnancy. So we only have one more video to go. Okay, and excuse my appearance. I would have loved to have showered did my skincare you know in my cute little pajamas but as y'all know it is very unpredictable in this house especially with my mom's condition so I have to film whenever I can and right now everyone is taking a nap we just got back in from a walk so I'm gonna use this time wisely <laughs> and film this video really quickly okay um so like I said we're recapping my eighth month of pregnancy um spoiler alert I've already had my baby it is a baby boy um, I will link my birth vlog below this video. If you're stumbling across this video and haven't watched any of the other ones, I will link the Pregnancy AF um, playlist below. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, so we have made it to 32 weeks of pregnancy. Um, at 32 weeks, your baby is the size of a squash. So this is the moment I basically was just at, at, at this point I was just so grateful to have made it to eight months of pregnancy let alone like being pregnant like all the times I you know I just I just wasn't expecting to even be here I never imagined myself being pregnant um so just to make it to eight months like was a major blessing like some people give birth at eight months so I was just really happy and grateful that I made it this far. I was having back spasms like under my shoulder blades, like back here. On April 25th, I had my in-depth ultrasound. Now normally you're supposed to have this ultrasound way before uh, eight months, but because the first time that they did it, they couldn't see like his spine. His, like it was certain things they were looking for that they weren't able to see on the last ultrasound. So I had to do it again. And this ultrasound, he always, always hides his face. Every ultrasound I've, I've ever had, he's always hitting his face and I could never see his face. And I was like, oh my God, I pray to God, my baby. I just kept praying. I'm like, I pray to God my baby is cute because I can never really get a good glimpse of his face. He always was laying like this or like this. So I'll, I'll show y'all pictures or videos of his ultrasound on how he was posing and he actually sleeps just like that now like he'll sleep with his hand covering his face uh, which is so cute <laughs> all we were able to see was his nose his lips um his little wee wee <laughs> they were able to check his spine uh this time his rib cage his heart they said everything was good okay now remember i remember on the last video i told y'all we had a pregnancy scare so i'm not going to get into it on this video but for nine for the ninth month of my pregnancy on that video we'll talk more about what happened in my pregnancy scare and this ultra scan so we'll talk more about that on the um the next video all right so at 33 weeks um your baby is the size of a durian 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 baby i don't know what that is <laughs> my symptoms were i really didn't have i mean i had this pretty much the same symptoms but my feet were so fat like i and before i got pregnant i hated like with a passion i did not like crocs now hey Sna <laughs> hey baby <laughs> hold on one second
Play with your toys. Sit down, Junior. Sit down. This boy done woke up. He didn't hear me talking. I was trying to talk low, but anyway, let's <laughs> let's continue. Oh, okay, where was I at? Um, anyway, so yeah, my feet were super fat. Prior to me being pregnant, I did not like Crocs like at all. I thought those were the ugliest shoes ever. Why is now that's all the shoes that I wear? I mean, well, not now, but at the time, eight months pregnant, that was that was the only shoes I could wear. Um, now I got a whole collection of Crocs. Like I got green, pink, brown, uh, cream. Um, what other color do I have? Tan. Like I have a collection of Crocs now. And, and y'all, y'all hear Junior talking in the background. Y'all hear Junior talking in the background. <laughs> um, I have like basically I have a whole collection of Crocs. You think that's funny? You think that's funny? You could just gonna talk when I talk? Yeah. yeah, okay. I also got my first prenatal massage. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna take that phone from you. I'm gonna take that phone from you. Also got my first prenatal massage. Um, oh my God, it was the best massage ever. Um, she had me laying on my side again. The first time I got a massage, uh, the bed was really, really warm and I thought I was burning my baby from the inside, um, but I wasn't, it was just burning me. This bed was really warm too, um, but it wasn't as warm as the last one. But yeah, it was a really okay, good massage. I felt like I felt the twice. prettiest girl um, in the world. I felt, that reminds me, I need to book another appointment for uh, after baby. <laughs> So at 33 weeks, I had my maternity shoes. Um, the setup. I told her what <laughs> I, I felt want. So I gave her my vision, and she um, put I will everything link the together. photographer like, she had, like she's four in different stations, Dallas, of all Texas, things that so I wanted. If you are in Dallas, Texas so area, I honey. really, really she's had literally like, like the time best photographer here. Photo shoot. I'll post, uh, I'll insert some clips from the uh, photo shoot and some pictures. I'll post up pictures um, of later that how night. Cute I looked. I was surprised you know, um, dressed up. And I also I wore a whole lot of like dress. Basically, you know, surprisingly get dressed. We're the going same out, honey. Or, we haven't been I think on a date like in a minute. Three or four so years we went ago. On a date. I can still fit it now. That's how good of a stretch the dress. Some things that were happening that I were that I wasn't expecting, and that n no other mother, none of my friends who are moms, told me that this would happen to me. Um, I would sneeze, I would sneeze or cough, and I would pee a little bit. One time I sneezed so hard that pee was running down my leg. Like I was just like, "How does this happen? Why didn't anybody prepare me for this?" Um, so yeah, that happened. <laughs> All right, so at 34 weeks, your baby is the size of a butternut squash. At this point, <laughs> at this point, I was starting to sweat a lot. Um, like basically, me getting dressed and getting ready for the day, or getting ready to go out and uh, maybe go to lunch or a coffee shop or anything. When I tell you, I, by the time I was done getting dressed, I would be so exhausted, so sweaty. To the point where I don't even want to leave the house anymore. Hey guys, wanted to give you a little behind the scenes of what it's really like to get dressed with a baby bump. <sighs> oh my god, look at my belly, it's so cute! Ah! Oh my God, the shoes are too tight. Oh, oh I'm out of breath. Oh dear God. Ooh. Ooh. Is the air on? Oh, Jesus. As you can see, it is not easy, honey. <laughs> um, 
but I just I already, but I knew that after my baby, I probably wasn't going to leave the house for like months. I was like, no, I got to push through and I got to go ahead and go out while I can, because I already know when I have this baby, I'm going to be in the house. And sure enough, once I had him, I didn't go anywhere like for like maybe three or four months. 34 weeks. Oh, I did create some content for Instagram. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did create some content for Instagram uh, for when I came back. Because I, like I said, I already knew that I, after I had the baby, I wasn't going to be doing anything. So I just had pictures videos, YouTube videos lined up for when I came back to Instagram because I took a break my majority of my pregnancy. Um, and I'll post up some pictures and little videos of that as well. <laughs> all right y'all i gotta wrap this video up okay because he's he's over there doing some things <laughs> and i told y'all he's really quick so i have to keep a close eye on him he's climbing over the pillows right now sit down baby sit down sit down i'm coming over there in one second okay okay so at 35 weeks, your baby is the size of a coconut. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on one second. And today we are 35 weeks. Yay. Getting bigger. So I have a month and one week left. And I'm watching YouTube, so. But yeah, so that is just a little mini update for you guys. I'm about to go upstairs and work on my office, but I'm going to miss my bump when it's gone. I know I am, but I'm ready to see the baby. I'm ready to hold the baby. I just feel like I'm going to miss my bump though. I know I am, but this shit is like, when I say this, this bump gets in the way of everything. Like I bump into stuff. I can't get, get around things. Like it's just, it's really in the way. Okay, it's really in the way. Okay, so at 35 weeks, baby is the size of a coconut. Um, around this time, I had major heartburn, okay? I told y'all he had a lot of hair, still has a lot of hair. Like, I, I as you can see, his hair is, braid, is in braids right now. That's how long his hair is. My next doctor visit, she told me that he was in a great position. He was upside down. Um, so basically, honey, ready to come out. I was hella scared because I hadn't packed my um, my hospital bag yet. After that visit, I ran home, okay, and packed my bag ASAP. I packed his bag, daddy's bag, and my bag for the hospital. I was literally so big that I, I couldn't even get out of bed anymore. I was rolling. Here. I was rolling out of bed. I was not able to get up. Like I sometimes, uh, Akbar had to help me out of the bed. Um, and because I was, because my stomach was so big, I wasn't feeling, um, I wasn't feeling kicks like that anymore. I was feeling more rolls. So I was feeling rolls instead of kicks. But yeah, so that is the end of this recap. Uh, I, I, I mean, probably would have talked a little bit longer, but somebody is up now. So I got to tend to them. I told y'all this house is very unpredictable. Um, I never know when I'm able to really film like that. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, when he goes down for his next nap, I'm going to try to film my luxury haul. So, be on the lookout for that video. Um, I'll probably look a little bit more put together. <coughs> now you cutting up for no reason. You cutting up. This is what you got to look forward to, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so we got one more video, you guys. Bear with me. I'm trying my best to get 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 done with this series. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Press that subscribe button. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye. <laughs>